she invited many famous Irish writers down here to Cool Park. Bad is teaching us about Irish writers years, as we're on our way to Bunratty Castle. Sean O'Casey, the playwright, and a lot more of these. In fact, in this Cool Park, there's a big uh, tree there. I think it's a big old tree known as the Autograph Tree. And if you look at it even today, nearly a hundred years on, well, ninety or so years on, you still find the initials of the writers, GBS, uh, WBY, all the, a lot of the writers, uh, there are a number of O'Day castles. To give you an idea where we've gone, we started in Dublin on the east coast and we drove right through the heart of Ireland in the center to Clonmacnoise for Mass the first day and then over to Galway. We spent a day up in north visiting Knock and some other wonderful places. Today we're leaving and going down to Bunruddy Castle. We're going to have Mass at Adair and then all the way down to the Ring of Kerry. I'm going to spend the night in Sneem. This castle was built in 1425, so nearly 600 years ago. Before that time, there was actually three previous castles exactly on this site. So in fact, since 1250, we've had a Bunratty castle here. But the first three castles, they were built by Viking families. And throughout the years, in various battles, they had used so much timber in their construction. These castles were completely destroyed, burned to the ground. In this one, however, you won't find any timber. Up in the Great Hall, there's a timber roof, but the rest of this is of pure stone build. Self-supporting stone arches, eight-foot thick stone walls all the way around. So strong, very strongly built by the McNamara clan. But they only lived here for 50 years because in 1475, the O'Brien family came here, attacked the castle, and apparently within only one night, they had conquered the castle. And from this point on, came in, great door, and that was the uh, hall where we were just in, and now we're heading up the 35 steps to the, what's rooms up here? The Great Hall. The Great Hall is up here, so here we go. Well, when it was lunchtime, after touring the castle and the Bunruddy village, we some of us went to pubs and scattered around for food, and then uh, went to the shops. There was plenty of time for shopping. Uh, all kinds of traditional Irish gifts and clothing and woolens and golfing supplies. Very nice. And if I don't give people time to go shopping, they're going to lynch me somewhere along the way.
Adair has been voted the most beautiful village in uh, Ireland. It had three beautiful priories and convents, but they were all taken over by King Henry VIII, who suppressed the Catholic Church, which means that 43 priests who lived in this monastery were killed, and it was taken over by and turned into a Protestant church. But it's now Catholic again, and we are very honored to come back and have Mass here and acknowledge it as a Catholic church again. So we left Limerick County, and now we are in Kerry County, which you can see. Uh, it's a peninsula in the southwest corner of Ireland. Very beautiful. This is St. Mary's Church in Killarney, where we're at right now. We have Mass here tomorrow. We stop for a quick toilet and coffee break, and one more hour to Sneem in the Ring of Kerry. Grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our We're at the Sneem Hotel. Very nice, by the way. You've already seen a picture of it. Here's the lobby. And uh, very nice place. Everybody's quite happy. Here's the uh, menu for dinner tonight. All part of it. And here's our group right now, ready to have dinner. And here's the view that we have outside the window. And tomorrow we're going to go to the Ring of Kerry and to Killarney and Mass. And uh, what a great place this is and what a great group and what a great time we're having.